Hey everyone, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be sketching Imperial Crosshair from the Bad Batch Seasons 1 and 2. Uh, one of my personal favorite characters from all of Star Wars. He's somewhere in top 10. So I'm really excited to draw this one for you guys and I hope you learn something along the way. So let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into this. So this is actually going to be the first drawing tutorial that I've ever done where we turn our sketchbook sideways. After that, we're going to be starting with the visor and the basics of the helmet, where Crosshair sees from, the mouthpiece, the top dome, and I guess the little bubbles that the tubes connect to. I'm also gonna have to ask you guys to forgive me. Uh, I've only drawn Imperial Crosshair once or twice, so I'm very unfamiliar with the structure and layout of this armor design. So I, I am gonna mess up a little bit, um, I usually try to cut that erasing stuff out, but sometimes it's a little bit too uh, fundamental to the character and how I'm drawing them. So I'm sorry if I mess up and it causes you to mess up. I apologize. Also, sometimes I can draw a little bit too fast, so if I get too quick for you, don't be afraid to pause the video and catch up.
Okay, and now that we have completed the helmet for Imperial Crosshair, we're gonna go in by adding the breastplate as well as some of the shoulder armor pieces. And instead of Crosshair being in a neutral stance, like how I do most of my drawing tutorials, I wanna step it up for you guys. If you've been a subscriber for a while, that can be kind of boring. So we're gonna do him in a pose where he's holding his fire puncher sniper rifle like he's getting ready to take a shot at Hunter or one of the members of the Bad Batch. Aim for the kid. Just kidding. YouTube, please don't cancel me. We'll also be adding in the bicep armor. Uh, the rifle will be pushed against the shoulder of crosshair, so make sure that you leave room for that. We'll also be adding in the forearm armor as well, and that will be going in front of the stock of the rifle. Now that we've got the arm and the base layout for the hand, we're going to sketch the fire puncher itself. Uh, this rifle could have used a tutorial on its own. It took me forever to draw. It is just such a massive weapon, and there's so many little details and uh, geometrical shapes that are fundamental to making the design look like the actual design from the show. So you can kind of skip through this if you're not interested in doing the full layout. I went a little bit more detailed with it. Uh, so it, it's up to you, really.
And now that we finished the base layout for the sniper, we're gonna be going in and cleaning up our lines surrounding it. So the bicep, the shoulder, the forearm, all those lines, we're gonna be making them a little bit more concrete and easy to determine what they are. We'll now be drawing in the other arm that is supporting the weight of the rifle. Uh, fingers can be very tricky to draw, so be sure to take your time. Don't worry about messing up. I messed up multiple times trying to draw these, so don't even worry about it. Just take your time, try to get it right. Okay, so we're now going to be drawing the forearm and the part of the arm that is bent and pushed up against Crosshair's torso. And as you can see in that jump cut right there, some details just appeared on Crosshair's chest that weren't there before. Don't draw them yet. I'm going to end up going back and erasing that and fixing it because it made his dimensions and proportions look weird. So we'll get to them. Just draw the, the bent bicep and the forearm. We'll get to them later. Okay, now you can see me erasing those details on the chest plate, and we're going to go ahead and draw them in. I just could not remove that part for editing's sake, uh, because that's where I drew his bicep, and I needed you guys to see that. This next portion of the video is sped up because we're done with our basic sketch and it's just me adding some simple designs to the armor and some basic weathering just to give our drawing some more dimension and make it look a little bit more real life. And our Imperial Crosshair is now completed. Guys, that's gonna wrap up the tutorial of how to draw Imperial Crosshair. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you learned something along the way, whether it's line technique or weathering or whatever. I, I hope you learned something. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys, and your continued support means so much to me. So, thank you. Have a great day, and as always, may the Force be with you.